what's up guys it's Ian Giles again so today I'm just gonna do a real quick uh, review of my first ever packer I've had it for uh, a few months now and I'm finally getting around to doing a review on it so um, warning if you don't want to see <laughs> a penis then look away okay I'm about to show you my junk so Look away if you don't want to see it. Okay, so this is what I have. It's called the Mr. Limpy, which is an awesome name, right? Um, so there you go. There's Mr. Limpy. I have the small, um, although on some websites they call it a small, some websites they call it the extra small. I guess it depends on where you're ordering it from. Um, but this is the three and a half inch um, vanilla. I don't know why they call it vanilla instead of light or whatever, but I guess it sounds better. Um, as you can see, the the balls are kind of big. They're really thick. I mean, look at that. It's it's about two of my thumbs, um, which I think the balls are probably thicker than the the shaft. Um, you can see they have a vein going down the underside of it. Um, got the little details here. I think for twenty bucks, it's a pretty good, pretty good packer. You can see there's some, some veins, um, some like skin-looking bumps and things like that. Yeah. So. That is Mr. Limpy. Um, you can get it usually, on most websites I found them, they're about 10 bucks, but then they also add on about 10 bucks in shipping, so you end up paying about 20 bucks for it. Um, I've had some people say that they found them in Spencer's, but I've never been able to find one there, so um, if you do, then that's awesome. Um, I think for a beginner, this is perfect. I mean, you don't need a whole lot of size. Some people are like, oh, well, that's too small, but actually, most guys. Um, this is about the size that they're going to have, um, when they're not hard, you know, this is, this is their normal size. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it's not huge. You're not going to walk around like you've got a heart on in your pants, <laughs> you know, nobody wants that. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the right way to position it. Cause I've heard a lot of people say that you put it in and then you, you kind of put it up to, into the side. Um, but for me, that doesn't seem to really make any kind of visible bump or bulge. So a lot of times I have it just down like this. Um, but it also depends on like what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing something a little bit tighter, like tighter pants, then I might go and, and put it up up into the side. Um, but I mean, with this small, it doesn't really matter much. I mean, which way you position it. I mean, I, I've got a Peacock STP that is five and a half inches so that definitely you can't have it down like this because it will look really bad um, which I will put a review on that later um, I want to use it a bit more before I make a review but um, anyway so yeah I think this is good you do need to have um, like tight-fitting underwear or something like that obviously you can't just put this in some boxer briefs and expect it to stay there um, I have some underwear, um, which I will show you. One sec. Okay, so this underwear that I have, it's called Andrew Christian underwear, which is very expensive. Luckily, I found it on uh, eBay for eight dollars with free shipping. If you buy it new, it's like 25, 30 bucks. Um, this is what I got, uh, size medium. And it's just briefs, which I usually don't wear briefs. But what what I usually do when I when I do wear this is I wear this, and then I wear my boxer briefs over it. Um, you see, there's this little pouch. I think they call this show it pouch or something like that. If you look inside, it's like this little hole, and so there's a pouch where you could put your packer in it, um, and that gives you a little bit right here. You can see there's a little bit of. Um, material so it's not like a packer right up against your skin which you know isn't very comfortable so you just get the packer and you put it in 
the hole and then you know you can position it or whatever um, so that's that's what looks like most of it is inside so you're not going to be having the packer rub up against your skin and then you can position it any way you want to and it holds it in place and because it's got a pocket you don't have to worry about um, it falling out I mean that's really horrible you know when when you go and you're walking and you can feel the packer moving and sliding down your legs uh, so yeah I, I like I like this underwear a lot of guys I've heard just wear tighter fitting underwear which you can do that too but I like to have the security of having a pouch so you know that you know it's it's not going anywhere um, so Andrew Christian check them out find them online um, and that was the eight dollars I got it was for one pair so yeah you definitely check eBay or Amazon or places like that to try and get it for a better price because it's it's expensive stuff um, I think I think it's, it's called the show it feature I think is what they call that that pouch which if you see the pictures it looks <laughs> they're definitely showing their junk um, anyway so I guess I kind of ended up doing a re two reviews today um, so that was the Mr. Limpy three and a half inch um, vanilla and the Andrew Christian show it pouch underwear um, which I think work terrific together and I like it better than, than like a harness or something like that I've heard some people wearing a harness with this but I, I personally just prefer underwear so anyways that's my review and I hope you guys learned something from it and um, till next time see you later